June 21, 2020, 5 a.m. It's a loft apartment, minimal plywood structures, high ceilings. Maybe I've been here before. I know that on the other side of the kitchen sink is the bathroom. The storage, mostly open shelving, visible pipes painted the orange of Hare Krishna robes. There's a hallway leading back, probably to a fire escape, as the main entrance, a peeling, painted, heavy steel door, is here in the kitchen. A hallway created between the walls of the bathroom and whatever's behind it, and someone's sleeping room across from it, which surely contains a raised structure for sleeping or storage. Real estate being scarce. Three of us are puttering about on the old hardwood floors, making a meal or something between the sink and the large, comfortably cluttered island. They are a divorced couple who have remained close. I know their baggage, or at least some of it. He's older. She married right out of her parents' house and promptly birthed and raised four boys. He, like me, is the big-hearted, codependent center of the universe. She had an affair, needed or felt like she needed a life. I'm telling them about the time in a noisy, windowless Manhattan bar Mark C. told me about an affair an old friend of mine's spouse was or had been having with a bartender he knew. The woman was an underground celebrity and Mark didn't know I knew them. He quickly unloaded a burst of explicit details I wish I could unsee. I wondered if I should tell the old friend, but we had fallen out of touch and it didn't seem like it would do him any good to hear this possibly untrue, probably unpleasant rumor from me. For all I knew, they had an open relationship. There, in the loft kitchen, it seemed a light, vague retelling of the story would be good for this lovely divorced couple to hear. Looking back from the waking world, I'm not so sure.